In this video, we're going to talk about ARV7 testing for men with advanced stage prostate cancer. First, my disclosures. I am a full-time employee of Exact Sciences. And if you have additional questions or want more information, you can look at the website oncotypeiq.com as listed on the bottom of the slide. Metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer cannot be cured, but it certainly can be treated and managed sometimes for several years. And these men often benefit from multiple lines of sequential therapy. How to choose which treatments to use in that sequence can be informed by biomarkers. In metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer, choosing the next treatment can be a challenge. And typically, the decision point would be if someone fails an androgen receptor targeted treatment, such as apalutamide, abiraterone, or enzalutamide, do you come in next with another AR targeted therapy or move on to chemotherapy or other forms of systemic therapy? And these are the dilemmas in making these choices. On the chemo side, we know that taxanes generally work, but they're often associated with side effects. Patients may prefer AR-targeted treatments due to minimal side effects and the fact that they can be given orally. And although administered back-to-back -back up to 60% of the time, secondary androgen receptor-targeted therapy is only effective 22 to 46% of the time. Why are they ineffective? Variants of the androgen receptor are a common cause of this resistance. And of those variants, the ARV7 is one of the most common and best understood. So what's ARV7? It's a splice variant of the androgen receptor protein, and it's the primary mechanism of resistance to AR-targeted therapy. As you can see in the top line, the full-length androgen receptor has an N-terminal domain, a DNA binding domain, and a ligand binding domain. And that ligand binding domain is where the AR targeting drugs bind, and it requires it to be present for them to work. In the ARV7 splice variant, the ARV7 protein is active without the ligand. What do the guidelines say? Well, in the NCCN guidelines for MCRPC, whether or not the patient has had prior doxetaxel, if you have a patient with prior exposure to a novel hormone therapy, such as AR targeting therapy, they do say to consider ARV7 testing, as you can see here in the green. The Oncotype DX ARV7 assay can help quickly direct this choice for your patients to the right treatment. It will detect the ARV7 protein in the nucleus of circulating tumor cells. It's predictive of resistance to AR targeted therapies. It's very easy to interpret and you can act on those results and only requires a simple peripheral blood draw. Who are candidates for this? It's men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer and who have failed prior AR targeted therapy and are considering additional AR targeted therapies. What is the evidence and the validation? There have been three published studies. In the first, from Memorial Sloan Kettering, there were 161 men involved. The second was three sites with 142 patients. And the final, the prophecy study, five sites with 118 patients. And in all these studies, the ARV7 nucleus detect assay was predictive of non-response to AR targeted therapy. Now, how often is it going to be uh, positive for ARV7? Well, in treatment naive patients, it's quite low. It's only 3%. But once they failed one AR targeted treatment, it's 18%, and with two or more, it's up to a third. How does this impact outcomes? 
Well, for patients who are ARV7 positive, they had rapid progression and significantly reduced overall survival if given additional AR-targeted therapies. As you can see here in the blue line, ARV7 negative patients uh, in this one study didn't even reach median survival uh, on overall survival. But those who were ARV7 positive, they only had um, a very short-term response. Those patients who are positive experienced a 76% survival benefit on taxane therapy versus AR-targeted therapy. So if they are ARV7 positive, chemotherapy with taxanes is a very reasonable approach. The test itself is very simple to interpret. It comes as a positive or a negative. So in summary, men who are ARV7 nucleus detect assay positive, they have poorer prognosis than men who are negative. They are unlikely to respond to abiraterone or enzalutamide. And they're more likely to live longer when treated with taxanes compared to AR-targeted therapies. Men who are ARV7 negative, they have a more favorable prognosis overall than ARV7 positive men. They may benefit from another AR-targeted therapy and they may live longer with AR-targeted therapy. Thank you very much.